Hi, my name is Maya and I work for UK Research and Innovation's Global Food Security Programme. In GFS, we know that tackling the climate crisis requires a radical transformation of our food system, which accounts for about a third of global greenhouse gas emissions and is already being impacted by the effects of climate change. So here are three things the research is telling us that we can all do to limit the climate impact of our diet this Earth Day. So tip number one, cut back on red meat. Now farmers are working very hard to ensure that the beef and lamb that we produce in the UK is as sustainable as possible. But limiting our consumption of red meat is a key strategy to remaining within planetary boundaries and tackling the climate crisis. Now plant-based proteins like peas and beans not only require far less land, water and emissions to produce, but they also fix nitrogen in the soil, which reduces the need for nitrogen fertilizers another key source of emissions in the food system. Now, don't worry if you're not ready to go fully plant-based. Even just swapping red meat for white meat significantly lowers the climate impact of your food. So tip number two is to reduce your food waste. Now, when food waste goes to landfill, it produces a very potent greenhouse gas called methane. And also wasting food means we need to produce more food in order to feed ourselves, which means requiring more land and more fertilizers. Now there are lots of different ways that we can reduce our food waste. We can buy only what we need. We can freeze any excess portions or excess fresh ingredients. We can eat the whole animal or the whole vegetable. And we can be very critical about best before dates because often food is still perfectly edible for some days afterwards. And if you can't, avoid throwing away some scraps. See if you can compost it. Because when food goes to compost, it produces far less methane and it also produces nutritious soil. Tip number three is to eat local when it's in season. Now there are so many good reasons why we should be buying homegrown food. For example, being able to see the impacts of our food production on local farming communities and on our local environments. However, when we produce food in the UK that isn't in season, we often produce them in heated glass houses that are energy intensive and produce a lot of CO2. And this actually makes it less climate friendly to produce food in the UK than it would be to import those foods from warmer climates. So while it's true that we need widespread system change, behavior change is a key part of that. So why not get started this Earth Day by integrating our top three tips to reduce your climate footprint through your diet. Cutting back on red meat, reducing your food waste, and eating local when it's in season.